we've got, uh, I'm waiting with bated breath for the questions which are from uh, Deb, Donald, and Dave Bill, our kind of you, the Let's Be Quiz, absolute star. Uh, I don't want to diss anybody with this election coming up, but I'd like to say that I'm Steve Kidd, and uh, I do eat kittens, I do cheat charities out of lots of money, and I, uh, what else do I do? Uh, yeah, I beat the wife. Well, I shouldn't got a wife, but let's go with the flow for the time being. And uh, I also think the people who we've got today, who you can see on the screen today, are people who should know better and run a mile from me. So, uh, light speed quiz, let's go for it. Oh, and welcome, let's welcome our rookie here today, Kevin, eh? Hey! Kevin, hey. hey. where are you from, Kev? Thornaby. Thornaby. So, do you realise that the last quiz where we had somebody said Middlesbrough was the worst place to live in the world? Possibly I was born there. No, no. no. <laughs> David, thank you for coming. Thanks, Deb, for these. Let's uh, roll on. The first subject being sports and pastimes. Questions written by me and Debs, Ted B, so we're going to just swap around every couple of so, Two for great answer, one away for an incorrect interruption. Starting with question number one, a sporting sequence. Alligator, rum, rum, rum. Chris Curtis. Red Marauder. Marauder. Oh, I'm waiting for that. Grand National. Red, Grand National. Red, Grand National. Question number two. Footballer Emmanuel Pogatetz, tennis star Thomas Muster, McFarland. Austrian. Austrian. <laughs> six weapons, six suspects, and nine. Kevin. Global. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Curtis. Uh, Dr. Black. Incorrect. Mine. Preston. 324 possible the combinations. And oh. <laughs> Question number four. Welsh rugby international Andy Powell was suspected of drink driving, but never. Curtis. He was driving a golf cart down the M4. Driving what kind of vehicle on the hard shoulder? Oh, well, it, it, well, it was a golf buggy, yeah. Number five. Playing as a blocker for the Atlanta Roller Girls Roller Derby. Her squad number is 404. What is the technology based surname of this player whose first name is Page? Five. Not fun. Page not found, 404 is the right answer. Oh, well, that's okay. It was in the final of the CIU quiz, Tony. Oh, you can't remember that. What was the reasoning behind it? That's the right answer. 404, page not found. It's the Erica's. The Erica's in my shit. All the roller derby get named off silly names. I'm taking that one. I'm impressed. That's a good one. First broadcast, question number six. First broadcast in 1957. The contributors sound like a collection of public schoolboys. Given their poncho for using abbreviations, Steve Rose. Test match special. Test match special is the right answer. Oh, what, was <laughs> what is the full name, first name, and surname of a character from the Peppa Pig cartoons and the man who was the UK champion flat jockey in the 1930? In 1930 or 1930? 1930. Steve Kidd. Tony Baddeley. Incorrect. Chris Curtis. Scobie Breezley. No. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Simon. Fred Archer. Incorrect. Well, it's a reasonable guess, isn't it? George Pig. Ashley was trying to get it. Not to George Pig. So, <laughs> have you got mine then? Me. Uh, Charlie, Charlie Smirk. No. Ashton. <laughs> George Pig's gone. <laughs> Edward Elephant. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, Norman. Edward Incorrect. Kevin. Steve Donahue. No. Anybody else want to try? Can't even get a character. Uh, Will? George Carmichael. Incorrect. There's no George Carmichael in the uh, <laughs> uh, The answer, Freddie Fox. In a test career spanning from 1996 to 2012, he took a record 210 catches. The Will? Raul Dravid. Raul Dravid is the right <laughs> Another sporting sequence, <laughs> but this time, what comes last? 1974 was at Bellevue in Manchester. 1975 was at the Nunawadi Basketball Centre in Melbourne, Australia. 1976 saw a return to Mas Manchester, but P. The Crucible. And the Withershaw Forum, the present location being from 1977, the Crucible. <sighs> Locations <laughs> of the world. 
Chair. Reset. Such a good question. It was a good question. Yeah, once you know what you're on, you know you've got it right. Who is the only person to win a Summer Olympic gold medal in his own country twice? Born on the exact same day as Princess Diana, he had a short-lived acting career upon his retirement from the track. Winner of ten Olympic medals, including nine golds. Carlos. Carlos is the right answer. Next question. What led to the following women in a sporting context? Robin Cowan, Sue Smith, Will. Um, the reporters on that show on um, the BBC. Sports, com sports commentators. <laughs> After 2,533 matches, Tottenham Hotspur said goodbye to White Hart Lane as their home ground. Their last match there was a 2 1 win against Manchester United, who scored. Norman. William Rooney. Incorrect. Uh, Preston. Deli Alli. Incorrect. One point. They don't be on that one. Minus one. Uh, Half pressed. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie. Me. Harry Kane. Harry Kane minus is the right answer. Uh, so Preston was minus one. Preston minus one. Minus one. Minus minus one. one. Um, got five. Tony. Yeah. Tony got five. I was going to say we would win only first because Norman said he's actually got the last score. Who was that? Significant as it will be the first city to host both a summer and winter Olympics. We're part of Beijing. Beijing is the best. <coughs> the International Olympic Committee has agreed to add five new sports to the Olympics in Tokyo 2020. Baseball and softball, sports climbing and karate are three. Uh, Preston. Surfing. Surfing or skateboard you could have had, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Called the Double Decathlon, what is the name of the ultra multi event of track and field competition which consists of 20 events over two days? Clive? I cost a drum. I, I cost a thlon, but it's, yeah, it's close enough. Two points. Who won Team GB's first gold medal of the 2016 Preston? Uh, PT. Adam PT is the right two points. answer. Hey, Lee. You enjoyed this. <laughs> Question 17. The first woman to win the BBC Sports Personality, Ashton. Anita Longsborough. Anita Longsborough is the right answer. What the hell? It's just six years ago. Question number 18. Born Paul Michael Levesque in 19. <laughs> Tony. Oh, Triple H. Tied, tied with Mike Lees. Yeah, obviously. It would have been saying to play one each, yeah. So that is Tony, I was going to get off the side. Never was the one that got Tony Michael Lees. So far behind this week, so far behind. I hope we'll get this going there. Question number 19. The last time a French rider won the Tour de France was in 1985. Rose. Bernardino. Yeah, Bernardino. <laughs> <laughs> Two points. Number 20. What is the name of the machine which cleans and smooths the surface of an ice, oh. Michael? Zamboni. A Zamboni. Zamboni. Especially <laughs> brown people. Look. <laughs> so you want to say that with the next round? Which is? It's, it's the arts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fresh. Right, question number one. It was a queer, sultry summer. The summer of the Ele Ashton. Belgium. It's the first line of which all the other number I've still been It is for Belgium. <laughs> question number two. Singers Gladys and Beverly. Jack. No one. Nine. Incorrect. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, think of something else quickly. Um, no. Black, the black. Incorrect. <laughs> Bit of friction for you, Mark. Lake up there. Tony Mouse. Tony Mouse. Sing this live in Beverly. Jazz pianist Thelonious. Indian. Simon. Monk. Incorrect. Black is Monk. Chris Curtis. Uh, Davis. Incorrect. Minus. Kevin. Piano. Incorrect. Minus. Preston. Saxophone. Incorrect. Minus. Steve Kidd. <laughs> Shit, I was going to do a piano about half an hour ago, but I think they're all Georgia. Incorrect. Minus one. Uh, Ashton. Are they all from Canterbury Tales? Tales of Tales and Canterbury Tales. Is that right? Oh, 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 o
Aretha Franklin and Harold Shipman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which adjective is used to describe both a KFC Louisiana burger introduced in 2016 and a martini if brine from the olive jar is added to the drink? Drax. Zinger. Incorrect. Uh, Ashton. Dirty. Dirty is the right answer. The dirty Louisiana and the dirty martini. Two points. Question number four. It comes from the Algonquin language and means great chief. Which word has a dictionary definition of a person who remains aloof or independent, especially if it be? Mugwump. Mugwump is the right answer. Oh, Question number five. Also the name of a ski resort in British Columbia. Which American? Ashton. Whistler. Whistler. It is. Two points. Question number six. Although you may be mistaken for thinking it belonged to Katie Price, Dolly Parton, or someone equally buxom, whose 2010 autobiography, released when they were both 35, was entitled, Oh, What a Lovely Pair. Tony. What a lovely pair. I've got the name now. It was the name of the question, yeah. No, I forgot the name. No, my partner. Andy Deck. Andy Deck. It's the right answer. Two points. Question number seven. Born on April the 2nd, 1967 in Leicester, who was the most famous pupil to attend Nick Clive? Adrian Moore. Adrian yeah. Moore. Attended Neil Armstrong Comprehensive School in Ashby Dillard. Question number eight. Mentioned by Simon and Garfunkel in the title of one of their tracks from the 1970 album Bridge Over Troubled Water, who was the leader of the Prairie School? Ashton, 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 Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright is correct. Well Two points. Question number nine. Which fictional literary character had a housekeeper called Mae Maxwell who was mentioned? Kevin. A good part. Incorrect, my friend. Had a housekeeper called oh, Mae Maxwell, who was mentioned in several novels but never seen in 25 movie adaptations. Lee. James Bond. James Bond is correct. Two times. Lovely. <laughs> the words Maven, Glitch, Bagel, Schmuck, Sp Kevin? Yiddish. All come from which language? Yiddish. Oh. Yiddish. Two points. Pitaya, Langsat, Cherry Moya, and Rambutan are types of which foodstuff? Ashton, fruits. Fruits, Two points. Question 12. In Shakespeare's Macbeth, the title character is told that it will only be defeated when which wood? Ashton. Burnham Wood to Dunsany. The Burnham Wood is correct. Two points. Food. Question number 13. Which architectural style of the Middle Ages was revived in the reign of Queen Simon? Gothic. Gothic is correct. Uh, two points. Question number 14. IKB is a hue. Simon. Is it not King of Brunel? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Minus one. IKB is a hue of blue first mixed by which French? Clive. Clive, 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 Clive is correct. Two points. It's national Clive. Question number 15. It was used by the Manic Street Preachers on their t-shirt merchandise at the 1992 Reading Festival, but the phrase cultural Chernobyl had also been used to describe which tourist attraction which opened in the same year. So, Blobby World. Incorrect. <laughs> Lee. Euro, Euro Disney. Euro Disney or Disneyland Paris. Two points. A favourite of many TV chefs at the moment, what kind of food is Cavolo Nero? Drax. It's a cabbage. It is a cabbage. Also Shake the Cavolo. Question number 17. This is a British artist born in 1959 in Chigwell, Essex. He won. Steve Rose. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Lee. Chris. Minus one. Incorrect. He won. Minus one. He won the Turner Prize in 2007. Lee's. Uh, 
I don't mind if we eat something. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Minus one. Norman? Incorrect, I'm afraid, over there. Minus one. Uh, he was nominated for the Turner Prize in 1990. He won the Turner Prize in 2007. He was nominated for the Turner Prize in 1995 with A Real Work of Art. This was actually the name of a race, race horse which he had purchased with a view to entering in races so the art would appear in bookmakers all over the country. As it turned out, the horse got injured and ran only one race. His sculpture, Eke Homo, was the first. Tony? Eke Homo, Eke Homo, Della. No. Just half a moment. No, incorrect. Minus one. His sculpture, Eke Homo, was. Uh, Kevin? Kupo. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Minus one. Was the first to occupy the empty plinth in Trafalgar Square. Mm. His other high profile installation is State Britain. It's. Anybody? <coughs> no, I'll tell you, Mark Wallinger. <laughs> Question number 18. Reset. What name is given to the form of poetry written over 15 lines? The most famous example possibly being in Flanders Field, Kevin. Minus one. By John McRae. No one. Alexandre. Incorrect. Steve Rose. Stanza. No. Kid. Sonnet. No. Please. Pentadeppian. No. <laughs> 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 Uh, Clive. Villanelle. Incorrect. McParland. Santran. No. Will. Quintanza. No. Simon. Triple Limerick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else. It is a rondo. Oh, okay. Question number 19. 36 views of Mount Fuji. Norman. Okusai. Okusai is the right answer. Two points. Last one on the arts. Question number 20. The wife of one of the leading members of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, Simon. She married Rick after him, Neelay. It's another right answer, I'm afraid. Minus one. Oh. Curtis. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Incorrect. Minus one. Kevin. Ruskin. Incorrect. Minus one. Don't bet you get bronze. <laughs> Well, I'm one of the lead members of the pre-rider, but there was also a model for the group and was a sitter. Please press the Rose. Siddons. Sorry? Siddons. No, I'm afraid not. Minus one. For Millet's oh, Ophelia. I'll, I'll press. Clive. I believe. Oh, sorry, Clive. Oh, it's not Siddons. It's not Siddons. Two points. Did that then say? End of... Especially when the next best score is six. Yeah, five next. Wow, impressive. Uh, good in for it after Oxford, I guess. <laughs>